You need loose pants and few parameters. And a robust system doesn't have many parameters. You would have some basic rules that are rough and you need to apply them in the same way across everything so that you have enough sample size through which you can detect your edge and you need to have patience for that edge to come through and you need to give yourself into the system. You know, the systems that, that I design and, and which I trade, they're not by definition designed to carry positively. I, I have not built a machine that carries positively every day, every week, every month, or every year. It doesn't have that quality. It's very independent, very uncorrelated to the rest of the market. It's very protective because my blowout risk is relatively low, not nil, but very small because I get out of losing trades quickly and I let the winners run. So I can get a lot of like small knife cuts, but it's very difficult to really kill me. But it doesn't carry positively, not every year, not, not every two years in a row even. But when things happen like, you know, this year, I mean, there's, I don't want to name that crisis alpha. I don't, I know what that term means, but I don't like it particularly. But usually during periods of market stress, and we have a period of market stress right now because of inflation, yields rising, the war situation in Ukraine, et cetera, et cetera, text potentially being overvalued, you name it. I mean, there's so many fires that you could pull out. It's, it's, it's amazing. But in these tough environments, those strategies tend to do relatively well. So they go from an otherwise uncorrelated state that doesn't carry positively all of a sudden to a negatively correlated state that has massive skew and carries very positively. So it's like an option for which I don't pay the premium up front. You know, I, I pay through my trading process. This I love. So the trend following system that I run is up 52% year to date. And we are mid-April. 